Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. For the past couple years, I've been trying to grow a little garden, and the Japanese beetles have been just devouring several of my plants. So, I have purchased two different brands of Japanese beetle traps, the Spectracide and the Bonide. We're gonna open these up, set them up, and observe how these work over the next couple of hours. Hopefully we will begin to trap several of these Japanese beetles and save my garden from these little pests. The instructions on this one say to go about 30 feet from your foliage, so that's where we are here. I've got a couple of these leftover balusters from my kid's playhouse. I'm gonna just drive this into the ground real quick and we will hang the bag here. It says you should hang it anywhere between one foot from the ground and three foot, so let's go pretty low here. I figure this bag might get a little bit heavy, so I'm going to place a rock up under there. I bought this on Amazon for around $9, so we will see uh, how well it works, and I will leave the link in the description down below. Okay, so first you have these two yellow pieces here. I'm just going to slide them together like that, and then we have a bag down here with a zip tie. Open up the bag. And I'm going to use these little holes to loop into this plastic piece. The lure just attracts the beetles to the bag and then they fall in. Now the lure itself, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And it's going to be slipping into these grooves facing towards the plastic. And it also says you can bend this little piece forward here to help prevent uh, rain from getting to it. It'll be interesting to see how fast the beetles come to this. And I'm going to get stuck into those little grooves. Like that. Nice. I think that little plastic flap is going to help pretty good to keep that from getting rained on. Almost has a, uh, a lemon scent to it. Okay, I'm going to take this twist tie and get it placed in here. Well, that's maybe not quite uh, as tall as it should have been from the ground. The bag is uh, longer than I was anticipating. There is the Spectracide version, hanging uh, about six inches off the ground, it's supposed to be a foot. I think the next one we will hang in a tree, so it's a bit uh, more clearance there. I'm here on the other side of the garden. I think I'm going to use this tree branch here to hang the Bonide version of this beetle trap. Let's open this up and see how well it assembles. This was also another Amazon purchase, about the same price as the other one. Interesting. This one comes with two different bait, which means you should be able to get uh, a lot more capture out of it. The other one just had a single. Uh, it does come with two bags. And let's see, that seems to be it. So it's actually got a couple little grooves that this is supposed to slide into. There we go. And it kind of locks there at the top, like that. And we should be able to do the same thing where I just take these little loops and make sure the bag is securely strapped on here. Okay, very cool. Now let's go ahead and open up one of these bait here. This indicates that it's a dual lure, so I'm guessing there's something in this little rubber stopper here. And I'm going to try and also bend this top piece over some again to perhaps prevent a little bit of rain from getting in there. Um, one thing that I'm seeing is this doesn't seem to come with any way of attaching it, so I may have to go grab some kind of uh, string real quick. In the time that I've been installing that other one, we have several beetles already swarming around here. I see a couple that have fallen in there already, so I wonder if we can bottleneck this out a little better so they fall down in that. Yeah, there they go. Now they're in there. I imagine as more go in there, the bag will open up a bit better. Figured I would hang this one right here. It's a little bit in the shade, which was not recommended. 
Because this one is not in the sun, it may not have quite the results, but I'm also noticing that the scent is not nearly as strong as the other one. So we will give it a comparison for a little while and maybe swap this one over to the sunny spot and see if it picks up the uh, same amount of those little pests. There's a very slight breeze coming towards me right now and I can actually smell that lure from here about 35 feet away. But uh, we can go over here and see that it is already attracting a good many of those Japanese beetles. I would say we have somewhere around uh, 8 to 10 of them in there in the past uh, 10 minutes. It took a minute or two, but the uh, beetles are starting to fly to this one. For instance, here's one right here. And we've already caught one down in there. And if I shake this, you'll see several of them fly out. But anyway, so that one is attracting the beetles. I think being in the shade and also in the wrong direction of the wind is causing that one to uh, not attract as many. Uh, whereas this one over here, uh, the wind's coming toward us. And so all these that are over here on the raspberries are uh, flying around and smelling that. So let's check it out one more time over here and we'll come back in about an hour and maybe swap them over. It's been right at an hour since I hung this up. Let's see what we got here. Man, look at all of that mess. Crazy. And they are definitely falling in there. So we've got, I'd say it's up to the green there in bugs. This one is actually doing pretty good also. Several of them stuck right there. Some more right there. Um, so it's got a good many. I think what we should do is put this one in the sun and uh, give it another hour and see how many build up in there. Okay, I've swapped over the specticide bag of bug over here under the tree and it's already attracting a couple of them. So let's go over here and see how the other one is doing. Oh yeah, it's doing real well now. So I think having it in the sun is gonna be huge because it's already attracted a lot more than it did over there in the shade. Uh, there's a whole bunch more on the way. Now I'm not sure what this other lure is here. It may have something to do with it. But um, anyway, we'll come back another hour and see how well this bag is doing. And I see the problem with hanging this in a tree. The beetles are all over the tree and not too many of them are actually going into the bait. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is take this back over to the other one and uh, you'll actually see that one has filled up even more than this one did in that short amount of time. So I think putting them both together will have a very strong lure and we will go ahead and get a whole bunch of bugs in there uh, this afternoon. But tying it under a tree like this, it seems to just bring the beetles to the tree and they don't necessarily go in. But when this thing is by itself out in the field, it definitely just attracts them to go straight in there. So let me show you what's happening up here. This thing is several times more full than it was before. Look at that. And they are just swarming this thing. Conclusion time on the Japanese beetle traps. They've been out here for four hours. And uh, this one right here, I moved up top where there were more beetles. And it has maybe, I'm gonna say an inch and a half or so down here. Uh, surprisingly not as many as I was thinking it would be. Um, so the trap itself has that single bait, two bags, the plastic pieces, and a twisty tie. And it seems to attract the beetles nicely and they fall in with ease. So it's definitely uh, a working trap. So let's go down and look at the other one real quick. I thought I was gonna like the other one better because of the nice packaging, but this one has outperformed that one nicely. Let me show you what I mean. There is a lot more beetle down here and they are constantly falling into this thing. It's just ridiculous how fast they're going in there. Um, I wonder if it's because there are two different bait here. 
But um, anyway, this one I think is the winner between the two of them. So there are a few things I like about it. It's the same kind of bag, but you get to see what's in there. It has the two different types of bait and it actually does not come with a twist tie, which was the only downside uh, side of this. But I think having uh, two packages of bait and the dual bait is uh, a winner. Now, I did notice that some of the beetles maybe could fit through the holes down there. So that's kind of a, a negative, but perhaps not. They're just filling up there and uh, not actually getting out, but every hole has a beetle coming out of it. But anyway, this one right here is the winner. It's not as strong smelling, but definitely is attracting a lot of them. Well, there you have it. The Japanese beetle trap is working quite well. Uh, this is just a small portion of the beetles we have here flying around on the yard. Um, but four hours, probably several hundred beetles between the two traps. Um, but anyway, if you're looking for a trap, I have the link to both of these in the description down below. They seem to work well and uh, no problems. <laughs> if you have some thoughts on the Japanese beetle or the trap, write those in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.